You're watching UNICEF Television. The burden of the secret sometimes gets too much. A few months into her pregnancy, this young woman learnt that she's HIV positive. People are terrified of it. If I tell someone, I could be rejected. They could say I have an illness that they could catch. So that's why I don't tell anyone around. Thanks to a course of antiretroviral drugs during her pregnancy and while she was in labour, Jean was born HIV negative. Seven months on, Leonie is in good health. They're fortunate to have a supportive family, but their situation is not typical in Benin. Stigma is typical in this country, which has an HIV prevalence rate of just 1.2%. People are not aware of the consequence of HIV AIDS and uh, that um, uh, make that the stigma is still, still there, specifically among, uh, for women. The complexity of the situation means the government of Benin and UNICEF have to find innovative ways to combat the virus and support those affected by it. Community health workers like Marie Bagri are often the first point of call for those who are HIV positive. Today she pays a visit to Leone. Discretion is key. For her, it has been a bit more difficult. There are other things. Even the visit to the domicile becomes complicated. With her, it is fairly easy. With others, it's more complicated. Once you've been to see them once or twice, they'll tell you, don't come back to my place. Questions are being asked like, why does that lady come to your place? Others don't even want their husbands to know. They don't want others to know even if their husband knows their husband. In the rural areas which make up most of Benin, a piece of paper with five circles, known as a dry blood spot test, is all it takes for a midwife to test for HIV. It's simple and discreet, and the blood on the card can withstand long journeys in the heat to the nearest laboratory. If you say to a woman, come to my testing center, I'm going to take a sample, she'll say, what am I going to say to my husband before leaving? But if you do the dry blood spot, you can quickly let her go and you spare her the problem of having to leave her village to travel to a laboratory. She won't find herself with any explaining to do to her family. Education is key to addressing the stigma associated with HIV and curbing its further spread. That's why the government and UNICEF launched the Stop AIDS board game in schools. When the children play this game, while they are having fun, they say things like, don't do that, you will get AIDS. So they are sensitized, made alert, motivated. They know that AIDS exists. They realize it's important to be careful. Leone lovingly tends to her son. He can look forward to a happy, healthy, HIV-free life. But one day he'll have to face the reality that his mother is HIV positive. I'll tell him when he's old enough to keep the secret. I'm not sure how he will react. Perhaps by then, thanks to efforts to reduce the stigma around HIV in Benin, it won't matter so much what the neighbours think. This is Alex Duval-Smith reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.